Yo, if you want a track on Da Vinci, here, like this, like this thing here, whatever this is, I don't know what this is yet, but it's something. If you want a track, well, look, 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 it's following me around. That's cool. Yeah, watch. Okay, so you've got your footage. You've opened up Fusion. You, you, or you should know if you have. If you don't know, watch my Fusion Basics. But basically, this is the before, and this is what comes out after. So anything else in the middle will add changes to the before, and then we'll see it on the after. So if you want a track, shift and space and search for trackers. So basically, just search for the tools. If it doesn't add it automatically, you can hold shift, drag it in the middle, and it will connect it for you. Now with the tracker, make sure the play head is where you want to start tracking. You drag this little square thing over where you want to track. So I'm going to use the ring because it's contrasty. The higher contrast, the better. This is very small, so it's going to be a pain in the ass. That's what she said. This inside box is basically what you want it to track. So if it's something small like mine, I'll make it a bit smaller. And the outside is where it will look for the track. So I have quite a lot of movement when I move my hand up and down quite fast. So I'm going to make the outside a bit larger so that I don't lose the track. And hopefully my ring stands out from the background of my hand enough that it will find it. But once you've done this, you then click, you can leave all the settings as exactly the same, and you click track forward. It missed my hand a few times, so you can go frame by frame and you can correct these points manually just by doing this. And then you can go forward to the next time it missed and you move that forward again. So now you want to add some text in, you drag the text node on and connect the text node to the tracker node. You have to make sure that in the tracker settings, you go up here to operation and change operation to match move. And then it will allow you to see the text. If you don't do that, you can't see the text. And I can move the text to where I want it to be. So if I just want it to be just above where my ring is. And now the text will follow my hand movement when I move it up and down and around and everything like that, as you would have seen at the start. So say you want to track an image rather than just text. It's basically the exact same. You do the tracker as normal, go up to your media pool and drag the image on that you want to track. You drag the output to the green input because green is foreground, but the image isn't showing up. You need to go to tracker, change the operation and change that to match move and now it will show up. Now it tracks to my hand, but it's not in the right place. So we need to click on the image, shift and space and search for transform and add that in there. And then it will automatically add it into the correct position. And then on transform, we can then resize and reposition this to where we want it to be. And now we have a properly tracked logo. And that is how you track in DaVinci Resolve.